Welcome back, Chronics, and thanks for joining me. Today we're talking about TMJ, Temper Mandibular Joint Disorder. Sometimes it's TMD, Temper Mandibular Disorder, same thing. Those of us with hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome are going to be more prone to this since the jaw is a joint. Which to my mind is unfortunate. So our facial pain is usually due to the lack of collagen, then there's the hyperflexibility, then we get different pain sensations, but it usually roots back to TMJ. So the temper mandibular joint is a synovial joint, which means it's covered in cartilage. So it's like super easy to slide off. That sucks. There's more. Ladies out there, our hormones strike again. There is this hormone called relaxin, and for us, it's relaxing our joint a little bit too much. So much that it pops out and starts clicking. What are the symptoms of TMJ, you ask? Oh, there's several. I'll make your list. There are other types of myofascial pain. TMJ can be caused from many things. Think it's safe to say with us, we're going to go with genetics. Good news, they can manage TMJ. I don't believe it. When I was diagnosed with TMJ at 11, not many dentists have even heard of it. I had to go into Tufts Dental in Boston. They actually had like this tiny TMJ center. They were like, we're gonna handle this. And they actually handled it. Sounds like a very positive experience. Only the right side of my jaw was popping and they figured out if they brought my bite forward to kind of line up the joint better, the popping would stop. Fix the null post! I definitely wore every kind of retainer and also had braces for four years. Braces even ruined spaghetti. But it got the job done. These are, of course, other therapies that they use. I still have jaw pain, but with the popping gone. I feel so much better. So much. As always, thank you for joining me. And remember, stay strong. Don't give up. And don't take crap from anyone. I will see you next time.